find the derivative of x squared plus 3 times the hyperbolic cotangent of x over 4. So we're going to use the product rule to find the derivative here. So recall the product rule says if we have f times g and we want to take the derivative, think of f as your first function and g as your second function. Then the product rule says it's the derivative of the first times the second plus the first times the derivative of the second. Another formula we'll need in this problem is the formula for the derivative of the hyperbolic cotangent. So the derivative of that is equal to the negative hyperbolic cosecant squared. All right, so before we do this, I want to do one more thing. I want to rewrite this as follows. Because we do have to use the chain rule, let's go ahead and write this as hyperbolic cotangent of 1 fourth times x. This just makes it a little bit easier because when we take the derivative of the inside, it's easier to think about taking the derivative of 1 fourth x than it is x over 4. Because when you take the derivative of 1 fourth x, you basically take the derivative of x, which is 1, and the 1 fourth hangs out. All right, let's do this problem. So y prime is equal to the derivative of the first piece. This is our first piece. So 2x times the second piece. So the hyperbolic cotangent of 1 fourth x plus the first piece. So x squared plus 3 times the derivative of the hyperbolic cotangent of x, which is, parentheses, negative cosecant, hyperbolic cosecant squared of 1 fourth x times the derivative of the inside, so chain rule, so 1 fourth, because the derivative of x is 1. Let's check our work. So this is the first piece, x squared plus 3. This is the second piece, the hyperbolic cotangent of 1 fourth x. So the derivative of the first, check, times the second, check, plus the first, check, times the derivative of the second. So that looks good. We use the chain rule. The last thing maybe to do is pull out this negative 1 fourth. So y prime is equal to 2 times x hyperbolic cotangent of 1 fourth x and then minus 1 over 4 and then we still have this x squared plus 3 and let's just leave this hyperbolic cosecant piece back here so hyperbolic cosecant squared of 1 fourth x and that would be the final answer to the problem. So not really a hard problem, but it does require like some formulas. It does require the product rule. It does require the chain rule. Um, so you do need to know uh, some math, you know, quite a bit of math in order to do this problem. I hope this problem has been helpful.